That's part of the trip. Yep, state number two. Yeah, kind of three. We're passing through New York, Jersey. Yeah. So, yeah, headed to Jersey. Wheels up. After a very long ride, so we're about to eat dinner and rest. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. So today we are exploring New Jersey. So if you guys didn't know, Yinka was actually born in New York, Staten Island, and he moved from Staten Island to New Jersey, and then from New Jersey to Dallas. So that's where his family lives now. Well, my family, his family. Um, so today we're gonna be exploring New Jersey. Yesterday I was in New York. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen me tragically post about the fail um, that came about when I tried to explore New York alone. So I know a lot of you guys were asking on Instagram what happened, um, why my journey and solo trip to New York was a fail. And I would just leave this clip in right here for you guys to watch. So apparently I was supposed to be on the local, not the express train. That's what I was foolishly on, the express train. So now I'm on the local, well now I'm waiting for the local train. And hopefully guys, I figure my life out because I'm about to retire and go back to the hotel room and sleep at this point. I'm getting really sweaty and icky. I just don't like the feeling, so. Um, yeah, let's hope this day turns around soon, um, but I don't know. So basically, I just did not understand or realize the complexities of the New York train route station stuff. Like, I am a small city girl. I, even though I'm, I was born in Houston, I moved to Nigeria at 14, and that was a small city that I lived in. And then from my high school years in Nigeria, I moved to undergrad in a small city, which was Huntsville. And then for grad school, I moved to Waco, Texas, which is also a small town. So big cities just are really hard for me to navigate. And I feel like in the in the confusion and the overwhelming feeling of just figuring out what train I needed to get on and like getting on the wrong train over and over again or yeah just it being very frustrating i got super overwhelmed and people are just not as friendly in new york as they are in like the south so it was just really hard like getting help it was really hard getting correct help like i get i kept getting told the wrong thing like i kept getting on the wrong train and at this point I was just tired of being in the train station. It was getting hot. I was starting to feel like I was suffocating. Like it was just too much. Like it was way too much for me. So I just literally was like, I chunked deuces to the plans that I had that day. And went like, I'm going home. Like I want to go home. So that's what I did. <laughs> I went home. But for all those who have been to New York and have had a great experience, I'm so happy for you. I pray you have many more good experiences in New York. As for me, I, did not like my experience and I don't know if I want to come back to New York like I don't know if I'd want to navigate the train station without fully understanding what I need to understand like I didn't know there were apps for this I didn't know that there are things that you could use to make it easier so that was a little frustrating for me but um, yeah for those of you who had a great experience for those of you who live in New York no shade no beef I just can't do it I just won't do it unless I have the proper equipment or unless I'm prepared well so that's that but so we're currently on the way to seaside heights and um i'm just excited because he told me that it's like an amusement park kind of thing near the water whatever so i'm wearing my little amusement park kind of outfit 
Um, I plan on taking a full body picture today. So you can stay tuned for that on my Instagram. But yeah, let's get on to exploring New Jersey. from here but it is very windy it's a little chilly so I did grab a little sweater um, the beach is like over that hill that sand hill so that's probably where all the breeze is coming from I'll show you guys later there maybe we, hopefully what the beach looks like or I'm gonna say the boardwalk it's not interior. okay well I'll show you guys now what the <laughs> beach looks like my love is never old it's 24 karat gold You learn to guarantee You are safe and you are safe with me My love is never ending It's 24 karat gold You learn to guarantee And you are safe and you are safe Beach for a little bit, and I got to take some really nice pictures. 
Um, so I think it was a pretty successful day. I would definitely say that I did enjoy my time in New Jersey a lot more than I did my time in New York. So, so uh, I headed back to the car and then we are going next to the hotel to check in for our friend's wedding tomorrow. And babe is in the wedding, so that's why we're out here in the first place. But I've enjoyed the time away from home so far. sleep tight kind of kit and it has like a spray and I think like a cream um, that helps you relax as well as like a foot aching foot balm for limbs and feet to soothe them so um, as you can see I did spray this middle relax joint all over the room because honey look we need to be chill and relaxed and refreshed up in this room so I just spread the tea everywhere I just was just spraying it as if eh I wanted to even become relaxation. Um, Yinka just went down for his dress rehearsal. Now I'm just chilling in the room. I'm about to actually start editing the vlog for our like kind of explore date night um, in Boston. So I'm going to be editing that now and I'm hoping to have that up by tomorrow. So this will go up after the Boston vlog. So make sure you check out the Boston vlog. Um, and check out the wedding vlog and check out this vlog that you're watching right now but yeah so i'm about to start editing the vlog and then um around like 8 30 i'm gonna go have um dinner with an influencer friend that i met on instagram a few years ago so i've, I've known her via instagram for a while now so we're gonna have dinner and yeah i will just check in with you guys as the day goes along <laughs> friends for like how many years years girl we've been I don't friends know. for years no. on instagram <laughs> so this is proof that insta friends can become real friends in real life this, yo. <laughs> but um we're about to get some food and bone then fish grill first yeah time. bone fish grill first time but mm -hmm. I'll let you guys Wait, look at the is. contrast i'm over here in my jacket and, and then like, like this is texas <laughs> texas versus new jersey jersey literally Ew. it's bad <laughs> <Ew. laughs> <laughs> I did not get to check in last night when I got back from my dinner date with Tara. It was so good. Um, she's such a sweetheart and she's just such a breath of fresh air. Just her being a Christian creative and a Christian influencer. And she's also doing some pretty amazing things. So make sure you check her out. I will link her um, information in my description bar below. But it is a new day. It is a new dawn. And there are things to do. So... I am currently on my way to Starbucks to work on um, one of my vlogs, the Boston vlog. And then I'm going to head to the mall to buy some high heels for the dress I'm wearing today for the wedding. Y'all, let me tell you something. Apparently in New Jersey, when you go to the gas station, um, they pump your gas for you. For free! Like, there's no tips, there's no nothing. They just pump it for you. And I was so shook. I was out with my friend yesterday, and I was like, why is this guy coming? Like, why is he coming towards our car? Like, what's going on? Did you invite another friend? Like, what's happening? But come to find out that they pump your gas. And I'm like, do we tip him? And like, no, that's just 
it's just it's just what they do it's just a part of the culture so i'm like look clearly i'm in the wrong state i need to go ahead and pack my stuff and move to new jersey but i'm literally loving it so far the weather is amazing the roads are easy to drive so new jersey definitely has a place in my heart um for a potential place to move to because i've never really like been anywhere that i've actually liked you know like legit liked or could see myself living besides texas because that's all i really knew and liked or knew of or it was you know could tolerate but i really like new jersey so we'll see the traditional was in boston last week on saturday and today is thursday and today is like the white wedding the ceremonial wedding part and stuff and so i'm going to combine both of those vlogs and that's going to be up after this video so make sure you check it out y'all let me tell you the intro to the groom's men's dance literally went viral like everyone was tagging me on the post like isn't this your husband isn't this your husband and like it was just the funniest thing but i'm going to get this day started okay so really crazy but i was trying to get to starbucks right like i said and the starbucks is actually inside the mall so it actually led me to the mall which is perfect because now i can just literally hit two birds with one stone i'm currently at is this called westfield i don't know if this is called the westfield mall but i'm currently at a mall or something hoping there's some kind of h&m or something inside or something that i could you know buy a pair of shoes at but um we shall see i'm about to head up in there this is kind of what it looks like from the front and that's why i thought it's called westfield because it literally has like a, a westfield like right there <laughs> so i don't know we'll see but i know there's like a neiman marcus is it neiman marcus or a neiman marcus i really don't know the nigerian in me is just very potent so i really never know how to say things i just be winging it and hoping it comes out right It's a rough day when your bun comes down. <laughs> I have to let my bun down because we are not making it back there. But um, I am currently power walking through the mall. I literally got lost. The mall, first of all, is amazing. Literally has everything, every store you can think of in it. I wish I could have gotten more footage of it but because I was so in a hurry. Um, it was kind of impossible. Ah! Cars are gonna hit me. Oh, oh, oh. 